This is a little info video about part of the lug driver's uh, wall cycle ride shown on the map there. Um, it's going to focus on the piece in the black circle in North Front Neck. Uh, initially I'm going to drive into the bush on the road that you see on highlighted in red on the map there. That's a forest road and there's some video that shows various sections of what that, what that road looks like. Uh, and then there's a little bit of mountain biking that basically takes the route from Mare Lake up to Govan Lake with a little bit of an off-piste detour that was you know, somewhat accidental but a little bit exploratory anyway. And the purpose of this is just to kind of give wannabe cyclists on this route a bit of a heads up on the type of terrain that you can expect to find in that north front in that region. So uh, not, not a videographic work of art, this is not meant to be artistic, it's meant to be informative and just kind of show you what we're up against. So I'll, uh, I'll shut up and off we go. So this is the first section of the forest road, um, I've just left the Palmerston Canal Conservation Area. It's wide forest road, it's soft gravel, it's uh, pretty easy to navigate, either on the truck or on the bike, pretty flat tyres. Now the tyres will be fairly difficult because it's soft. Um, I'll check in a little bit later as we get further into the forest and maybe describe if there's any differences. Worth pointing out is that on the um, LDW ride, you'll be riding all this on the bike, uh, carrying what you're carrying. Uh, I think it's just, again, it's easy to navigate on this section. It's a gravel road, pretty basic, some ups and downs, nothing to worry about. You can see as we get deeper into the woods now, the uh, the road is narrowing a bit and the surface is starting to get a little bit uh, uh, more imperfect if you like. And I have been in the woods here on my bike and in the in the truck and encountered very large logging vehicles. <coughs> so uh, you kind of got to be a little bit careful that uh, you don't want to encounter things you don't expect to encounter. But uh, it, it gets worse as we carry on so I'll show up again for now. This is pretty typical. There's all these little ups and downs with uh, boulders and ruts and channels in the in the track. That you, Strava doesn't even seem to measure these ups and downs. And I, when I did the bike ride, my aggregate elevation gain was substantially less than I thought it was going to be. And I'm, I'm guessing it's just the fidelity of Strava's ability to differentiate, you know, three to five meter ups and downs that it, its GPS just cannot resolve. You will start in a section just after the hydro lane intersection uh, before we get to Mare Lake and the track from this point on gets kind of decidedly worse. It's, it's kind of like easier to feel than it is to see because I'm stabilizing the GoPro camera with my left hand there so it's not bouncing around as much as the truck was as I guess you could see there. Uh, but again, easily navigable on a, on a full Swiss mountain bike. Um, you could do it in a hybrid, but it might not be that comfortable. Uh, for me, definitely not for a bike without suspension. I think uh, that would be kind of either painful or dangerous or, or a bit of both. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
just approaching the wilderness campsite around Bell Lake now. Uh, beautiful area to, to come. There's a little lake called Hungry Lake and then a little bit further on the road is Bell Lake. Uh, and there's a bunch of campsites around the lake there, which are boat access up only, so you can need to drag your gear in and a truck and then get on a boat and drive across the lake to the campsite. Beautiful area though. Uh, I parked the truck on Mail Lake and then set off on the bike, so you know, this is the last sort of truck section just to kind of give you the view of the, the, the drive in there. Again, all of which is easily navigable on a mountain bike, uh, but I wouldn't go up there on a bike without suspension, as I've said. So again, I'll, uh, I'll shoot up for now, then I'll see you on the mountain bike in a couple of minutes. So I thought, um, rather than try to take pictures of my lake, which would never do it justice, I would segue to a video I made a couple of weeks back and just shamelessly throw that in. So here you go, here's my lake. <laughs> Sorry for the shameless plug here, but it is a beautiful spot. Anyways, that was Mayor Lake. Now I'm heading away from Mayor Lake on the, uh, the end of the, I guess this is what we call the main trail. So this will be part of the LEW. Uh, as of all of the trails I'm riding on today, except the one where I will describe, which was a bit of a diversion. Anyways, uh, enjoy the ride for now. Here's one of these little ups that Strongbox seems to not detect for some reason. Bend over them along the trail. And the corresponding downs. So here we are, 20 kilometers in the woods, and you find a couple guys on a side by side ATV. Hey, Can't get away from like them, man. No bills in winter, ATVs in the summer. <laughs> uh, 
now. So here, take the right fork to keep when the trail was Govan Lake. Uh, that trail on the left heads across northwest to Nokan Lake, we'll revisit that later. Uh, but that's not on the trail of the LDW, this is the official trail. I kind of stopped at Govan Lake uh, a little bit up the road here because the, even this trail seemed to disappear. And then when I checked on the map when I got back, yeah, I was on the right route and I should have continued, but uh, there was a bit more exploration to be done there. Give some decent views of what the track looks like here. I mean, it, this is not um, like a dead easy trail to ride on by now, even on, even on the bike with some form of suspension. So for me, it's definitely full source territory. But maybe I'm soft. Okay, come on. Yeah, more of these north front and that ups and downs that Strava seems to ignore. I remember this one being pretty steep actually, so uh, cranking away in the lowest possible gear on the full sustain, bouncing up in between the ruts. So, fun again. Oh, fuck. And then you get a nice reward and glide down somewhere. Uh, I was a little bit bouncy, but that's kind of why you're there, right? Chipmunk just ran across the street there. Again, just a reminder, we're still on the trail to Govan Lake here. There we go. Uh, all this is part of the LDW trail. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll take us off piste in a little while, but then I'll, I'll let you know when that is. But this is what we'd be riding on, or you'd be riding on, if you were going to tackle this on a, uh, a bike pack kind of adventure. It would be fun. Just to where we're at this point, now we're at 20 something kilometers into the bush with no cell signal and uh, no support and no facilities and no anything. Uh, pulling off your bike and getting yourself all smashed up at this point in time, probably not a good idea. Uh, just worth keeping that in mind. Another by the way is that jingling sound in the background. By the way, these tracks are awesome. Ooh, that's a cool that. The jingling sound in the background is uh, my bear bell. 
Okay, then you can see it rattling around behind the iPhone there. Just making noise to yeah, any bear that happens to be paying attention will hear me long before I get anywhere near him or her. So here I arrive at Govan Lake. You see guys have got saloon cars up here, right? So it can't be that bad. By the way, I would not have wanted to be one of those guys driving a you know, Ford, whatever you call it, or something that's a regular family car up that track. Anyways, this is Govan Lake. It's a beautiful lake in the wilderness. Uh, it's be good fishing. I have not fished cool. here. It's, uh, it's on the bucket list. I've got a little Govan board at the cottage here, so I'll be back up here at some point in time. Meanwhile, on the right. So this is heading back from Govan Lake to the intersection that you saw in that last drop of map there before I went off piste and uh, come back to the off piste in a few minutes when we get there. Pretty obvious I didn't do a good job with the angle of the uh, the camera on the GoPro chest mount there. So here's when I start to wonder if I've gone off piste or not. Um, I've turned right on my return route from Gumbel Lake there. I thought I was trying to find the right track to get back on the LEW, but as you can see, I continue doing this thing, which rapidly deteriorates into the dry stream bed of sorts. Heading out to Norcan Lake, this is not the right route. Another chipmunk. Now I'm thinking, yeah, okay, I'll, I'm off piste here. We'll, uh, we'll follow this for a while and we'll see where it goes, but I'm, I'm definitely off piste.
this was a blast plane though. He had the, uh, the northwest heading off piece, whatever it is that goes down on Norcan Lake. Loses about close to 80 meters in in, uh, in vertical and in not that much horizontal distance. And all the time I'm riding down, I'm thinking, yeah, this is great, but I gotta turn around and ride back up this fucking thing. Okay, now we're gonna turn around right all the fucking way back up that thing. So that was part of the north front, that leg. That's what they've ridden today, shown on there. The north heading piece down in Orkan Lake is off piece, don't go there. Uh, I'll be back to augment this video as I get some more riding done on more sections of the LDW, and hopefully, this is useful. and. Hopefully it helps somebody else get motivated to get out there.